Rick, tonight, heartbreak in the heartland. Where are these two kids and who killed everyone in their house? Well, we're going to have new information on the Idaho murder mystery. And then Saddam revealed more photos today of Saddam Hussein in custody. New questions about where these pictures came from. How are the Arabs reacting? And a dramatic tape of a fight between two students and their bus driver. We're going to find out how it all started and who should be getting in trouble for the brawl. All that coming up right now on Heartland. Welcome back. A British newspaper that published those photographs of Saddam Hussein in his underwear has released another shot of the ex-dictator. The new picture shows Saddam through a coil of barbed wire wearing a long white tunic-like shirt. The photo controversy comes at a time when Muslims around the world rioted over false reports by Newsweek magazine that military interrogators flushed a Koran down the toilet. So will the Saddam pictures ignite another firestorm? With us are terrorism journalist Richard Miniter, auditor, author of Shadow War, and Ahmed Yunus, national director of the Muslim Public Affairs Council. Richard, we've had, uh, had a day now, day and a half, to see what the heck the reaction is in the Arab world. It seems a, bit, a little bit split to me that these photos, you comment on that. Well, first of all, I think the music we're hearing from the Middle East is the sounds of silence. I mean, there's been no mass demonstrations, no uh, great outpouring of concern for uh, that carpet-chested uh, dictator, Saddam Hussein. And frankly, I think these pictures are beneficial and helpful. If you go to any Middle East dictatorship, that is to say, any, but, any nation but Iraq, you see lots of pictures of the maximum leader. Uh, and the, those are the pictures that linger in the minds of Iraqis. B you know, millions of dollars was spent by Saddam putting up statues of himself, giant uh, ceramic uh, and uh, concrete heads of Saddam still rest on the tops of buildings across Iraq. And uh, that, it, those images were replaced by nothing with the U.S. military. This accidental release of pictures uh, puts a new image, that of a, a helpless, somewhat pathetic man. And after all the humiliation and death he caused so many Iraqis, throwing them off buildings, chopping off arms and legs, torturing them on videotape and replaying the videos for his friends, this is the least amount of humiliation he could do. I think on balance, it's positive. Uh, Ahmed, when we talk about, you know, the New York Times r ran a story today saying there's a game they play in the Arab world now called Guantanamo Prisoner or something along those lines. You take the reports out of Guantanamo, you take uh, Abu Ghraib, you, you take uh, something like this. Uh, where, what's happening in the Arab world? Is, is this something that is, that is creating a real anti-Americanism or are we just overreacting here? No, absolutely not. Let me first challenge the point that these are helpful. Uh, one of the pictures shows Saddam Hussein uh, as a person that is praying in white garb in supplication to God, uh, almost looking like he's asking for repentance. Uh, so although this is a despicable human being uh, whose hate mongering and genocidal tendencies we all agree upon, uh, I would not agree that these pictures are wholly bad uh, for Saddam Hussein and, and on, the, on the whole uh, good for us. But also keep in mind the calibration of success in the war on terrorism um, is not how we can defend these pictures or not defend these pictures. It's how we are perceived in the mind of the average Muslim throughout the Muslim world as to whether we are being true to the values that we are saying we are bringing forth to this part of the world. So when we talk about democracy, uh, the core of democracy is corruption. The reason why most of this part of the world is unable to attain freedom and liberty as the president so eloquently argued for in the second inaugural address uh, is because of the corruption in their society. So we need to talk about the breach of security here that was uh, allowing these types of pictures to be taken. And we need to talk about the fact that uh, the very core of this nation uh, is the recognition of the uh, integrity and the dignity of all people and all ways of life, so long as they do not encroach upon uh, the integrity and dignity um, of, of, of others within uh, those Ahmed, same places. Here's what Americans say. Uh, you have Muslims that cut off the heads of Americans they killed, you know, innocent women, uh, foreigners, women. We've had them killed from this country. And they say, okay, so here's somebody, you know, that's stepping on the Quran or they, they got Saddam, you know, in, in these pictures. How can you even compare the two? Well, surely, now, now explain surely. so Americans can understand this. 
Sure, uh, from one American to others. Uh, number one, the standard is America. Uh, we are not attaining a high standard of moral dignity or a high standard of human rights or, or recognition of others. We are the standard. Therefore, when we make a mistake, the answer is not to compare ourselves to terrorists, uh, to, to hate mongers, to racists uh, that have waged a war against our nation uh, and against our way of life. So we are the standard. Therefore, we should never uh, compare ourselves to others. And look, this goes to the very core of who we yeah, are. Yeah, but, but people, we Ameri are, hey, Americans are frustrated. Richard, Americans are frustrated. There, there doesn't, you know, we, we put out a picture and they cut off somebody's head. There's, there's, no, there's no equity to this, and yet they're outraged. They don't condemn this. Look, I, I, I think we have to understand their culture, but, but explain to me why we don't have more Muslims speaking out against the beheadings and the atrocities in Iraq right now, and they focus on these pictures. Well, actually, we do have Muslims speaking out, and the American press is not reporting what they're saying. Recently, the Iraqi National Congress condemned the Pakistani Minister of Religious Affairs for praising suicide bombing, saying, by praising suicide bombing, you're praising the death of innocent Iraqis and their American friends in Iraq. Uh, and demanded an apology from the Minister of Religious Affairs of well, Pakistan, may, a supposed may, ally. But the American media doesn't report this. You only see this in the Arabic press. Well, we'll report it here when we hear it. I want to thank you both. Thank you very much. Coming up.